Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where I asked in the last episode what was wrong with this. I gave you some homework and nobody answered so you're all getting a bad grade. There is a problem with this and the problem with this is that it's going to cause trains to loop. It's going to cause trains to loop. Yep. Um, so what will happen is a train will come up here um, like oh, a, tra a train will come up here and it will go oh, I need to go down this track here. And then it'll hit this and go, ah, but I'm filtered to this. So it'll come back down again. So it'll go round and round and round and round in circles. There is another problem with it, um, which doesn't, um, didn't occur to me originally. And now when I've looked at it, I realize it is. Um, but let me, let me, excuse me. Let me demonstrate the problem here. So let me grab a locomotive bump. And we're going to add this in here. Uh, I'm going to put it over here. Um, and you're going to have... Uh, three bots cars added to you you're going to be tagged with four because that's where you you should be you should technically start at four in fact let's put him over at four so you should technically start parked at this station here okay um, and you're going to be grain do 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 do, do grain like that. Boom. okay so right so the four train comes along here and comes up here now the first problem is how does the four train get to town number one because it doesn't know it needs to go to town number one all it knows is that it's number four. So it comes up here, it comes to four, it turns around and it comes straight down again. Because, yeah, yeah. So, how do we fix that? Um, hmm. That is indeed a problem. The easy way we, we, we could take it with one, as well so it's one and four but that won't work because then it'll come up here for one come along here and then it'll no that will work that will work because um no uh town will send a train to itself so this grain pickup will never drop off over here uh, so this drain drop off will never pick up over here so you'll, they'll never have a pickup that drops off to the same same place if it does that if it needs goods that it's making we'll do it internally we'll never have the drop off which means what we could do here is come up to level four here and get rid of these and also get rid of that because that would never be needed but on okay and then we can do the same here so number one for instance we can get rid of that and then redo the tracks like this um because a train leaving here never goes to number one because it's leaving one it never goes to one and this is leaving four it never goes to four never needed okay we could put them in there and just never connect the tracks and that's absolutely fine um so so then we can tag this with a four and one without using any uh um spaces on it and what should happen is you'll come to here and you'll turn because you know one is this way there you go you'll come down and grab some grain now i'm going to do an experiment as well i'm going to um come in here and i want to turn off all of that ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Boom. you'll grab 150 grain and then you'll move and then obviously there's no one so you won't do the one you got four you come on for four and then you come here and you come down again. Now, this is still a potential problem um, here because, uh, well, there's two reasons. One, this line's going to be used a lot because we're going to have every drop off on this one line, but that's okay. It's only used by number four. So each one of these needs to be filtered to each item in, in the game. Um, I think the biggest problem with that is going to be uh, that. If we have a grain train that needs to go from here to over here and it passes through here, it's going to come down here every time. So we need to make sure it only comes down here if it's um, allowed to. And that's easy. That's really easy. Because what we do is we um, get rid of all these. Because none of the other tracks need to come down here. They don't need this. Only track number four comes down here. So that fixes that problem. So we just get rid of all of this. 
stuff here and these are all just straight pass-throughs then that comes down to there and doesn't have a connection there oh um, oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear so you come in here you are the anti-clockwise track so you do that so the anti-clockwise comes in but on and comes down and the clockwise comes in and comes down and um every other track just doesn't bother with it because it doesn't need this here so this will be the same here we'll do so that's the clockwise track isn't it yeah so we'll do the app i was on the wrong thing the anti-clockwise track and then we uh so this is the clockwise track right so this goes through and down uh, copy uh, copy paste there you go Boom. okay so just invert so when we have a pickup it will look like this it'll have the two inputs and when we have a drop off it'll look like that it's the same thing so only the four trains so if a, a a train on track three comes along has grain it won't come down here because it's not for track three and we just double tag them four and one but on okay uh, this never needs to have a thing here so i don't need this many lefts and rights as well we only need actually to have left and right as and when we have a, a thing so that's not needed that's not needed um that one's not needed uh four um uh we should never do the thing um four should never do the thing anyway so uh, that one's not needed that one's not needed that one or that one so left left right right left left right right but left is not here because it's done yeah so so yeah um, and that might change depending on where we are and what we're doing um so this will come up here and uh, again this is the same thing it doesn't need all of these um not that it doesn't need all of them it just needs those that's all it needs so yeah uh but it needs the train going straight through and the pushers because it potentially could go to any one of these tracks but it only needs seven outputs it doesn't need the other pushers and stuff like that i just kind of did that because it's easier to copy paste this because the numbers in it i don't want to have to type one two three four five six so so long every time so uh yeah and that's how it should work i was over not complicating but over saturating the uh, the flow so let's leave this train doing its thing here for a minute let it do its thing just double check it works every time um, i need a copy paste <laughs> there we go. okay now you come down here because you are a four which is yourself and a one which is your destination and then you are filtered with a um number. now what i could do here as well is um i could actually say hey um you have no throughput you come down and you have no throughput you come down um because there's no there's no reason for that at all um this track so this one's anti-clockwise this one's clockwise so trains will come into here and then this track will never get used this lower track will never get used um at all going around the, the lower track on that one will never ever get used because it comes in here and comes back out again so um yeah so this comes along that way um, trains might come along this way but there'll be no when a train comes along it will have to go down and it will never go along this track here so this part of the track will never get used until we get to wherever the the place are i'm gonna leave the track in because it's fine it doesn't matter um okay this is working that's excellent so these the um the storage has filled up because we're only had one storage so it's got 200 in it the train still has stuff inside it uh, so it's empty that one it hasn't emptied up so it's still got 100 grain so it's now just sat here doing nothing it's not burning fuel even though it looks like it is but it's not burning fuel um and uh and yeah everything is awesome and wonderful and uh the trains can do their thing do need to figure out um fueling the trains that's something i haven't kind of figured out yet i'm thinking of doing it at um uh like these at, this, every time there's a down so we'd have like a fueling station here and then we'd have a fueling station here 
and another one uh, here. Um, so every town has its own fueling station, which is, fills the trains up as they leave the town. Because when they're parked down there, they don't need fuel. That's right. So as well as they actually as it comes into the town, it fuels them up. So they sit there and then they come out again and do their loop. Full fuel should easily be able to drive around this entire loop and come back again. That shouldn't be a problem. Most trains won't be driving around the entire loop. So yeah, um, yeah. So so yeah. So I said this this track here um, and this track here won't be used at all. No trains will ever come down this track because um, that's, this is the anti-clockwise one and this is the clockwise Does that mean I need one track for it because all trains end up here? So I could just have one track and then you just go, hey, you you got anti-clockwise on the track and you go clockwise the track and you don't worry about them crashing because they never meet each other. They only meet each other here. So I could technically have shrunk this down and done one track and have trains traveling both directions on the same track, knowing full well they reach this point here and then they can't do anything they can't go on and and you can do that you can do that sort of so we did that and we do that and no train goes straight on because you look there's no track here so they must come down this track so um um that would also mean i wouldn't need the filters i wouldn't need the uh the filters here and any track train that's on this track must come down this track so it must be a full train so we would technically need these filters because these filters are going to have to be filtered with every single item in the game like every single item this, this place wants, so not just grain, but any, anything else that it wants, uh, we'd have to filter this too. I think, I, I actually think I like that idea because it would simplify the trains. It would simplify the trains. Um, and we haven't got to worry about them crashing into each other. Uh, Because trains on a four track only would ever travel the direction towards planet um, before um, to town four. They'd never travel away from it. On the other tracks, they travel away from it. Uh, they would travel away from four and one, but they're traveling away towards one. So they're always towards one. I think I want to do that. Um, bear with me a moment. Okay, okay, so I wasn't convinced that my idea was going to work to start with, which is why I um, uh, decided to go, hang on a minute, let me let me double check this kind of, because I, I spend a lot of time trying to get the layouts correctly, and it's purely just put a track in, build it, now they're right, play and put some, and, and, and that's just purely an aesthetic choice of how the spacing I wanted to go. However, in trying to do spacing, I've come to realise that it's wrong and it won't work. And let me explain why it won't work. Um, and I saw it before I even unpaused game. I haven't unpaused game since then. Um, if we were to have this track come along and have a single track here and come along and just go, okay, you go down. Um, you go down. You're great. You go down. Okay. Um, and uh, the track comes up. What happens when this one wants to go to number four? Um, so we're over here. It wants to go to number four. So it'll come up and it'll go, okay, I want to go to number four. So I'll go along number four. I'll come along here. Blah, 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 blah. I can't get to the pickups because the track doesn't go to the pickups. The track just comes down here. So I'll come down here and then I'll turn around and go back and I'll go back onto my one and get confused and stuck and things. So no, we need this and we need a bypass for it. So we need, because this track potentially can, is not just used for trains returning to town number four. It's also used for trains coming to track number four. So when they are, when they leave um, a pickup, they cannot go to the station, the, the town that they are leaving. They can only go back to the station they were. So that prevents the, the trains going, um, the trains tagged with one going to number one. So this will go back to number four. But then if there's a pickup for number four, for instance, and this town wants to pick up for number four, it has to come along on the number four track and it actually has to go through here to get to it. So it comes on, it goes here, it gets to it. Then when it leaves here, it goes, oh, well, I, I don't want to go back to number four. I want to go to one. So I'm now on the one track. So it comes along here and it's the same principle what if this town wants to go to a one it comes along here for the one track with this only goes down here which means oh now i'm stuck i can only come down here and i'm going the wrong way on the track well i'm not going the wrong way track because i'll be on the other track but um i can only go down here so that's yeah that's that's not gonna work um this shouldn't need to go through here anyway um this track should never be needed here because if you're coming clockwise, um, you pass the town. 
but I'm going to put it in for safety's reason. Um, and then we need to filter it down. Or do we? Actually, do we? Can I get away with that? Yeah, now if you're coming, so if town number two wants someone from town number one, it will join the number one trail, it will come along, um, it will join the anti-clockwise rail, which is uh, this track. And if we were to say you're only allowed to come down here and then come back in, you'll get stuck. That's fine. Anyone coming clockwise can only come down here because um, you're obviously on the rail one. So you're supposed to be coming to rail one, you're clockwise, so that's fine. So, but let's just do that. Let's just do this. So, boom. And then we do that goes down there and that will come up and go nowhere because this should never need to go to track one when you leave here you never go to track one you go to track two three four five and six and seven and eight you never go to track one because you're a town one and you will never have to, once you've dropped off, you'll never have to pick up from your own town. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So and that's that's like this here. So you never um uh, you never go to track four. Okay, and then track one is this way, track two is this way, track three is that way, track four would be that way, but we're blanking that. Track five, track six, seven, and eight, town seven and eight, sorry. Um, I need to double check that, that is actually correct before I, I do think so. Um, so what do we got here? So uh, one, two, so from here, one, two, five, and six are right. Okay. One, two, five, and six. Yep. And then three, four, seven and eight are left that will be different depending on what town we're in so like when you come to here um for instance track one is left not right so i can't just copy and paste them i've got to build them all bespoke each and every time so okay okay um yeah cool right let me grab a, a section of rail here and go snap and i really really wish you could you could put in a section of rail on top i mean it's the same build it's the same thing i don't know why you can't do that but you cannot so but i hope that makes sense i think it's a question uh in the last episode sorry i should have addressed this right at the start of it um uh from uh douglas um mentioning um how the how you know um how you can have the train supply to multiple locations uh this is it this is it. it's not we're not doing a train supply to multiple locations we're doing a demand system so no trains will be sat here waiting at all um purely everywhere has it so if it wants grain it has a train waiting if this empty is low enough for it for a train to be empty the train will go um pick up the grain and bring the grain back so if we need grain in another location it will have another grain pick up pick up and it will join the system so so the places are demanding stuff in this isn't supplying so there'll be no trains here um just sat here waiting to go to whatever place it's all all the trains are going to be at the pickup locations so if we need a multiple train a multiple grain place then we'll have a grain uh for we've got a grain in processing i don't know where else grains are used but planks for instance are used in processing they're also used in mining so we'll have a plank train at the processing here and we'll have a plank train at the mining somewhere so yeah um okay so let's build the rest of this setup shall we okay so what i want to do is um unfortunately i've built these tracks here but i can delete them um so this is grain that drops in here grain wants to be processed into animal feed okay so let's do that let's build our first thing above here i'm going to put it right smack bang there so let's grab uh this here um copy do, 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 do. um unfortunately when i copy it, it doesn't tell me uh which way um this is facing i need to figure that out how can i figure that out let's do a uh pusher uh, no actually let's do this let's do a wooden pillar with a 
a scaffold on top and we'll do a belt there. So I know that's that's the front. Okay, so this is the packer, that's the front, okay? So now I can oh I can copy this. And if we know that's the front, I can put it here like this. So this is the input and this is the output. So we put it there and that's the front. So now I know which way the front is. That's much easier to do. Okay, get rid of the barns. We don't need the barns. Build ourselves a, um, is it a food mill? Yes, food mill makes animal food. Food mill can make animal feed from anything. Um, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, I think the reason um, I go with grain. I believe grain is the fastest growing. Let me have a quick double check on that. So, um, doesn't actually tell you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember checking it, and it grain is the fastest growing of the crop, and they're all the same. If, like, say, potatoes were like I only use one potato, then it might make sense to do that or whatever. But, um, but, um. No, grain's the fastest growing of all the crops, so you might as well use grain. Um, and then the carrots and potatoes can be used for um, things. I could tick all of them, and it could do all of them at once, but it, would, it wouldn't it would slow the machine down because it's doing stuff if it's got mortal inputs. But we'll go with grain. We'll go with grain because that's the one we know. Okay, um, so let me uh, copy this and then control click to paste it down with its recipes. Put on. So this is going to have to be filtered with... Uh, grain, let me move the filters over so I can click the button behind it. Grain, grain, and grain, and then animal feed, animal feed, animal feed, and animal feed. Okay, uh, you are going to output from here grain, and you are going to input from here animal feed. So if I control and copy that, you know, paste, paste, and paste, and then control and copy that, and go paste, paste, and paste. And then we paste that in there as well. Boom. And that will work. That will work beautifully. Okay. Uh, and then what we do is we are going to um, kind of realize that these trains might be a little bit close. I uh, know, oh because we can, we don't have to. My brain's like, hang on a minute, they're a bit close. Um, let me put in. Uh, is that where I want this station though? Ah, that's something else I haven't looked at. Um, let's, let's, let's examine this. So. Uh, the stations have to go here. Three, one, two, three. Uh, no, this needs to be moved. Uh, flip that. This needs to be moved over by one. Let me put that up there. So I want to grab all of this and move it over by one, like that. There we go. Um, see, game is smart enough to know when you're moving things that it can place on topic. So, so if I, if I am um, like grab this and go move and then do that. It's smart enough to know that, hey, the stuff's not going to be there because I'm moving it, um, but I can't overwrite this even though it's the same item that you're trying to overwrite it with. It's kind of kind of annoying. I really wish it did overwrite. Um, like if you if you copy um, a section of path um, and then you um, copy it and then try and paste it, it should go, well, you're trying to put path onto a path, so that's legal. That's fine. You can do that. It just won't cost you anything. Um, so I could put in like this and it goes, no, we can't do that because of um, it's occupied. But but hey, anyway, um, I, uh, I, I digress. All right. This shouldn't be here. This should be in the center lane because the station is on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's awkward. That is a little bit awkward. Yeah, but not really. Um, so grab this. We're going to move this to here and rotate it around like that. And then we just get rid of that. Okay. So let's go up a one. Um, and then uh, let's track this out, hold control. And then I'm just going to put plug it straight into there. It might want to go to further ones later on down the line. So we'll find, that'll unpack into here. That'll do thing, blah, blah, blah. That'll do that. That'll come out of here. Now, this is the big problem. If you come out to the middle lane. Um, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't I say... That's a feed line, that's a supply line. So this is a... No, this should be a feed line coming in. So this doesn't want to come here. This wants to come either to the centre or to the to that one. 
because otherwise I'm feeding in here. I, I want to I want to have this one as a feed in from the drop offs in because it's easier to get up and over this than here. If we build something here and it feeds this line here, it's quite tight to get up and over this and down. So this was actually in the correct place when we started. Who to thunk it? Oop, move there. Okay, and this is not the correct um Okay, so we want to go up to here, which means I want to rotate this round. <laughs> oh, teeny problems, teeny problems. Uh, what if I put it here? Okay. And then we just went uh, out to here. Uh, we'll go out to there. We come down to here, we come along to here, and we go into there. Okay, but on. That should work fine. Uh, we will have multiple layers of belts as well. It won't just be like on the flat. It will be up, down, left and right and wherever it wants to be. Um, as and when we do it. So we'll figure that out. Um, you are getting the... You're getting the town speciality bonus. Which is a 10% chance. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Ah, okay. That's something else that I haven't kind of um, ever addressed. Uh, remember I told you about how they get the happiness bonus, regardless of there's towns around, which is true. They're getting the happiness bonus um, because of the uh, the workforce. The we are, Our happiness level um, is uh, um, 0.8, so they're going to have bonus. However, they are not getting the um, uh, bonus processing. See, it says times 2, 10% chance. Even though this town... Is a level nine town center whereas if we come here to this one and we click on something look it says there's an 80 percent chance because we are a level eight town center because i haven't upgraded because we don't have enough purple coins um so it will become 90 at level nine a 90 percent chance the reason behind that is that this town doesn't have enough houses connected to it in order to get it linked up it needs 360 levels of houses which is 36 level 10 houses so to get to level um, nine, we need um, 50 level 10 houses connected, which is a problem, which is a problem. Because if you look, <laughs> we only have 60 houses spare um, and we don't have that much space to them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, well, hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you've only got space for 15 houses, so we're only going to ever have 30 houses in here, so 30 houses is um, nowhere near the requirements for a level 9 place, it's going to be probably a level 7, 6 or 7, 30 at level 10 is 300. So it's probably going to be level 7. So we're only ever going to get a 70% bonus. Um, I could get more houses and put more in. We still have the civics research thing I could do. I reset that. I've just chosen not to do the civics. Um, but we could we could add the civics one in and get the houses back from that as well. We could modify the game to make it on there. I, can't, I kind of do want to put in... Um, like if we've got 15 houses. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 houses, 30. Uh, and we're going to have um, uh, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 towns. Um, 30 times 8 is 240 houses. I don't think we ever get to 240 houses. I don't think you ever get anywhere near that. So I might, we might modify that and get 240. Just have 70 in each place. Just, yeah. We'll see. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah. So this this will blah, 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 dump into there, uh, which means you want to come out of here and down this line here. So let us um, up. Oh. You want to come out. Um, I'm just going to use page up for this because um, it's easier than holding control. And you'll come down to here. And you're going to come down to a station here. Okay. Which is the drop off. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to copy. That. And I need to place it in a place that's going to make sense. Actually, hold on. <laughs> uh, 
one there, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there, actually lined up directly with that. Awesome. Okay. And then I realized that we can copy this because this is actually already done for us. Oop, like that. And we turn that on. Okay. And you are going to be filtered to uh, animal feed. Not that you need to be filtered, but I'm going to filter you anyway. Um, boop. You're going back there. That's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's animal feed. Right. So, um, and that's a pickup, isn't it? Yep. This is a drop off. So this is the drop. So the animal feed drop off is here, right? Okay. So let's build a locomotive. Add three carriages. Um, filter you to be animal feed. Signal you to be, you are, you belong to one and you want to go to four. No space, no space. <laughs> okay so you come out here and you get stuck because we haven't built this over here so okay right um i would like to get this all done uh but i'm gonna put a cut in here because um time because time so yeah okay we'll come back and fix this all next time um if anyone has seen any issues or anything or problems or things let me know let me know whether you don't think this will work or will work or whatever and if you've got any questions at all about how i'm doing this or, or not why i'm doing this because i'm doing it because i can um about how it works if you're unsure on it then let me know and i'll try and explain it on video in the next episode because it's much easier to explain visually than just in typing so yeah but anyway thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>